you know, I feel, uh, I feel sorry for you people. 90, 94% of you watching me. I feel sorry for 94% of you watching me. Because when I was 12 or 13 years old, sometimes my cousins next door wouldn't home. So I'd go to the large, huge limb tree in the back of my grandma's back backyard, all the way back in her backyard, over here in Mainville, Ohio, Warren County. And I would climb up it. And I, I, like I said, I was about 12, you know, 11, 12, maybe 13 years old. I'd go up by halfway because I was by myself. And the tree, the uh, some of the limbs were so huge, they felt like a chair. So I'd, I'd go. I have my favorite spot. I go up there, and there's this one huge limb. I mean, I don't, it was wide, and I would. It was like a seat, and I would sit. Yeah, it was that big. I would sit down, and like I said in my other video, it wouldn't because I was a kid. My aunt said it really did have huge limbs. Well, this one limb. I would set on and uh, it, it looked like he'd been uh, the limb the, the bark looked like he'd been smoothed out like where somebody had set on it a million times it really wouldn't that it was because it's so huge but it was like a seat a little on the flat side and I would set on that set on that tree limb and there was a limb smaller limb above me so it worked out real well. I could sit on that wide limb and put my hands on top of that limb so uh, you know I could hold on or keep my balance. And it was a perfect spot. I was about half. I was about 40% uh, uh, up the tree, nearly half. It was a perfect spot to sit and think, listen to the neighborhood. And how simple it was. You guys, you women, men, girls, boys, 94% of you, you really missed out on a simple time. 1970s. Like I said, I remember st I started climbing that, climbing that tree uh, about 1972. Yeah. About 1972, but anyway, that 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 was that was a real good spot in that tree on that tree. Yeah, that limb was real wide. The limb was wide. It was like a seat sitting there on. It, it, it almost felt like a chair. You know, I was up decently high, but that limb above it worked out perfectly. I could just sit there. I didn't have to hold on to the limb on top. Just lay my hands on it. Uh, my, my hands were ready to grab that limb. Uh, yeah, they, they was, you know, just in case I felt myself falling. My hands were ready, was, my hands was laying on that limb ready to grab on. But I felt perfectly balanced. I didn't let my guard down. I always kept my hands up there laying on that limb it was smaller real good handle and uh, I, I'd set up there I would listen you know somebody maybe mowing the grass maybe a dog barking people outside talking and when I look back when I look back 45 years when I when I think back 45 years of me sitting on that tree limb up in that tree Oh, it was, life was so simple back then. I mean, it was simple, simple, simple. Wonderful time. It was a wonderful time. And I'm so sorry, 94% of you watching me missed out on that. I'm so sorry. You don't realize and I'm so glad I lived that time. 
I'm very proud that I lived back in those days. I used to sit on that limb and think. Maybe think about school. You know, just think, what, what will life be like when I become an adult? You know, feel the breeze, feel the breeze, a little bit of wind breeze blowing on my face. It was wonderful. I mean, it was absolutely wonderful. Look at my grandma's garden she had. Look at her, look down and see her white rose bushes. She had real three beautiful white rose bushes. Maybe see her cat walking down the yard. Maybe hear other kids playing in their backyard. Mainville, Ohio. 1970s. It was just wonderfully simple. And I feel so sorry for you, 94% of you watching, men, women, boys and girls. I feel so sorry you missed out. I'm so sorry.